Our third company is a global group of energy and petrochemical companies with more than 103,000 employees in more than 70,000 countries. And the company uses advanced technologies to ta and takes an innovative approach to help the world build a sustainable energy future. So let's find out more about their innovative approaches in sustainability. This is Shell. Let's give a round of applause for Shell. And we have their business development manager, Mr. Nate De Jesus. Hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Na excited sila after a big meeting. Pet ko pa sa picture nyan. Oh wow, fresh na fresh. Oh uh, Nate, Shell, de ba? Of course, energy from a voice power to Shell being first known for fuel. Yes. It's it's a different ball game. But you have this powering progress initiative. Initiative. Can you tell us about it? Powering progress. Okay. So maybe before I start, uh, good morning, Pamashans. Um, to our fellow partners and, of course, to the uh, Manila Bulletin team. Uh, my name is Nate Desus. I'm the Business Development Manager for Shell Fleet Solutions. So, uh, like Sir Oli, I also studied in UST. Pero, the difference ang namin is ako hindi gumraduate dito. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I, I was supposed to take med school, pero... Um, on my second year of pre-med, I was na ako, kaya I transferred to another uh, to another school with an easier course. Um, so you should, you guys should be very proud of yourselves because USD is a very um, amazing institute. Well, still, yeah. they've been still something in you. I have no doubt. Hindi ko ako pumasok dun sa Arco. I think you were you're supposed to do that during orientation, no? Para graduate. So anyway, okay. Um, powering progress strategy. So it's my first time to speak at an event like this. So I hope you don't mind. Kung meron na kong notes. Um, so as we all know, uh, the way that the world is producing and using energy is visibly changing. And uh, for us to be able to reach the ambitious goals of the Paris Agreement. So for those that don't know, the Paris Agreement is a legally binding um, contract that was signed by more than, I think, 190 countries um, to limit the temperature change. Um, but for us to be able to reach those goals, uh, the change needs to happen faster. And uh, Shell is becoming an energy business uh, for the future, and we're playing our part to drive that change. So. We're driving that change through the Powering Progress Strategy, which is our global uh, four-pillar strategy to accelerate the transition to net zero emissions uh, purposefully and profitably. So the four pillars of the strategy, first is the, uh, it's generating shareholder value. So that's uh, growing value through a dynamic portfolio um, and disciplined capital allocation. So sabi nga ni Sir Philip kanina, um, for us to be able to continue with our sustainability initiatives, profitable. we still need to generate value for our shareholders. Oops. Good. Hello? Can we check that out again? Sorry, slide. Okay, second pillar, just in case. Okay, uh, second pillar is respecting nature. So that's um, reducing our waste and um, contributing to the um, improvement of biodiversity. Um, next is uh, powering progress. So that means uh, supporting communities uh, to make sure that our products and activities are powering societies as well. And then the last one is achieving uh, net zero emissions, That's which every, means yeah, everyone's goal. Right? Correct. Working with our customers and our partners um, to achieve our net zero emission goals together. Okay. So we were talking about how innovative Shell is. Yes. What are these? innovations or technologies that Shell is implementing, especially mm. when it comes to enhancing energy efficiency. Okay. Let me move on to that slide. Okay, Thank there. You. Okay. So, um, based on a recent survey, um, it says that 30% uh, of companies expect energy providers like Shell uh, to help them in their transition to more 
sustainability energy solutions. And as part of our Powering Progress strategy, our goal is to offer a comprehensive suite uh, of services uh, that are designed to help accelerate our customers towards achieving their uh, decarbonization ambitions. So in the different businesses within Shell, we do have uh, various solutions that cater to the unique needs of our customers. So first is uh, construction and road. So the focus is to uh, develop offers that reduce carbon emissions. So one example of this is what we call a bitumen low temperature. So bitumen, uh, for those who don't know, is asphalt. So it's asphalt um, that we use to construct roads. So uh, a lot of people don't know that asphalt is a byproduct of petroleum, actually. So we have what we call bitumen low temperature, which is a unique to shell technology that uh, produces uh, less energy to manufacture. And um, another interesting thing here is we also recycle uh, plastics and convert it into an additive that we use for bitumen, which contributes to circular economy. Um, our construction and road team also partners uh, with, uh, our, with different companies like Semex to be able to identify um, opportunities in their supply chain where they can decarbonize. So this, this is actually a nice peek into how collaboration across industries can actually happen Correct. already. Yes. And then um, in mobility or in fleet solutions, so I'm sure you guys have heard that we, have, we currently have two stations that have um, ultra-fast uh, EV chargers. So we have one in Mamplasan, which is in um, SLEX, and another one in TPLEX. So one in the south and one in the north. And that whole loop um, actually provides EV users about 700 kilometers in range um, and solves a lot of range anxiety that a lot of EV drivers encounter. Mr. Nate, just because you're already there, how long does it take to charge the car? <laughs> um, 30 minutes or less with uh, ultra-fast EV chargers. Oh, there you go. Thank yeah. you. And when you charge your cars, uh, we try to make our stations um, comfortable so you can hang out oh uh, so if nakapunta na kayo sa um, SLEX station namin sa Mamblasan it's a really big station with a lot of restaurants where you can eat while if you're w while you're waiting for your uh, charger oh, sorry while you're waiting for your EV to, to charge. charge yeah 30 minutes will just fly by correct okay. yeah um, and then also part of mobility, we have uh, Shell Fleet Solutions. So Shell Fleet Solutions is the business in Shell that um, handles our fleet card portfolio. So for those that are not familiar, um, fleet card is a solution that we offer to business owners that manage a fleet of vehicles. So if they don't want to if they don't want the admin administrative task of having to distribute cash to their drivers or kaya collecting receipts from their drivers, um, Fleet Card automates that whole process, which makes it more convenient for them. But anyway, in, in, in that business, we have what we call the Accelerate to Zero program. So the Accelerate to Zero program is also a global strategy of Shell which aims to help businesses identify parts of their business where they can decarbonize. So for example, um, by the coming mag recommend for them to start using telematics or um, a high-end GPS system that will help them um, make the, for example, uh, create more efficient routes for their drivers or, it, or improve the way that their drivers drive their cars so that they use less fuel. Um, we can also recommend uh, for them to do carbon offsetting, which is uh, if, if customers have unavoidable carbon emissions, they can offset that through carbon credits. So that's something that we offer in Shell Fleet Solutions as well. Hey, you should uh, partner up with driving schools for that also. Sorry? With driving schools. Ah, yes, yeah. Because yeah. it's one thing that I know actually one of our partner companies has already partnered with you. Correct. I'm not going to say who. But uh, the point is, if you're teaching people how to drive more efficiently anyway, where else is the entry point before you get your license? Driving schools. That's, yes. That would be a nice one. Yep. So, yeah. Correct. Sorry, back to you, sir. Nate. Okay, so in lubricants, naman, um, so we have been offering um, carbon neutral uh, products like Shell Helix, 
But what's interesting, which um, not a lot of people know, is that a lot of our packaging um, from lubricants are, uh, are actually uh, recycled products, made from recycled products. And we encourage our customers to recycle their lubricant bottles as well. And we actually have drop-off points across Metro Manila where they can deposit their uh, lubricants bottles. And we have a facility in CDO where they transform these lubricant bottles into echo bricks. And then these echo bricks someone are used to build our shell station. So my circular economy is going to Nice. Nicely yeah. put. Beyond, can we give that a round of applause? Again, see, it's not just about fuel. It's not just about fuel, moving, transitioning now to electricity, to electric vehicles, but really circular, circular economy as well. Uh, anything else you want to add on circular economy? Okay. Integrated into your OPEX operations. Uh, not yet. There, okay, there you okay. go. Um, so, so I mentioned about lubricants. So we call that we call that initiative uh, Lube Recycle. But we actually don't only um, convert them in, into eco bricks. But these lubricant bottles can also be upcycled, naman, into um, armchairs or chairs and tables that we donate to schools. So um, we just don't focus on recycling it to echo bricks, but we're also upcycling uh, up it into something that's more valuable to the community as well. Um, if you look at the uh, upper right, so the Green Ants Echo Hub Partnership, um, this is more about enabling communities in the circular economy. So this forms part of our Powering Lives pillar, wherein through our recycling and ups uh, upcycling efforts, uh, we also empower communities by providing them livelihood in what we call Echo Hubs. So, yung mga Echo Hubs na to, um, sila yung gumagawa ng recycling activities namin. So, we currently have three Echo Hubs. We have one in Batangas, Tacloban, and CDO. And these Echo Hubs, um, hiring the local community, produces about 7,000 Echo Bricks. Woohoo! And again, that also just means you really do engage the communities mm. that you're part of as well. Correct, yes. Nice. So, uh, so this is why we say that um, the pillars that I mentioned earlier, Powering Progress, are all interconnected with each other. Empowering people. Correct. <laughs> um, and then we have uh, ASM Mobility. So basically, um, this initiative takes advantage of Shell's uh, digitalization technology. Um, where we designated about uh, 25 locations around Metro Manila where customers will be able to drop off their plastics, uh, pla used plastics, so we can further recycle them and we'll be able to um, use a digital app to be able to track this as wait, well. Wait, wait, wait. Did you know that? So you can drop off plastics in Shell stations? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, well, it's an ongoing project and it will be completed by Q4 of this year. Oh, there you go. Yes. You're one of the first to know. So by the by the end of this year, yep. you can what kind of plastics are you looking for? Any so kind of plastics. Any at all. So yeah. from bottles from to bottles. literally su support. Yes, correct. Oh. And we're also actually partnering with Coca-Cola because they have the World Without Waste program and we're also going to be using um, their drop-off points. Uh, Just in case this. we want to know more about it, download the Shell app. Is that an app? I know. So, um, we, well, you'll know, you'll know more about it in the coming months. But stand yes, by. It, it is. Stand by. Stand by, <laughs> Muna. Okay, see, stand by. Any yeah. other uh, community-driven projects? That was exciting, the, the plastic thing. But yes. I'll, I'll talk about the community-based projects, Muna. Okay. Um, if, if you could uh, control it in the tech booth. See Shell and Explorers. So we have a program we call Shell and Explorers, which is Shell's global STEM program. So science, technology, engineering, mathematics, which was, yeah, exactly, which was launched in um, 2018 uh, globally. Um, in the Philippines, it was rolled out in 2019. And since then, um, we have engaged about uh, more than 2,000 students and 300 teachers in schools uh, throughout the country. So the intent of STEM is to help students uh, in critical thinking. So we teach them Nexplorer methodologies on how to handle critical thinking and problem solving and solving problems related to energy transition and sustainability. 
Yes, it's free. It's free. Yeah, yeah, I was like checking. Is this free? <laughs> so how do they sign up for that? Um, you can approach me later so that if you're interested to know more about it, we can talk about it later. Thank you. Um, and then it's, it's not showing here in the slide, but we do have a slide for it. We, a part of the Next Explorer program is we have the Bright Idea Challenge, which is a competition among the Next Explorer students for them to come up with solutions addressing, uh, there we go, uh, for them to come up with solutions addressing food, water, and energy challenges. So um, these solutions are developed by um, Next Explorer students using the methodology that we teach them. So on the lower right, um, these are the actual students that won the Bright Idea Challenge last year. So um, the problems that they solved in the uh, in this competition is, the, so the first one, the market technology, it's the farm to table problem. So market was the digitalization a project that helps connect farmers with end users. So essentially removing the middleman. And then the other one, a man, the one on the bottom is first to, uh, uh, ito, ito yung uh, water desalination uh, solution that uses wind energy. So mga estudyante yung gumawa ng mga solutions na to. So it's a really cool Let's initiative. see what USD can come up with. Come <laughs> join, Tomashans. <laughs> All right, next explorers. Okay. Sorry, next slide, please. Okay, there. Okay, still so, more empowering um, lives. Si Shell Livewire naman is focused on supporting SMEs. So this started in 1982 in Scotland, um, but in the Philippines, 2020 na siya nag-start. But since it started, so in the last four years, we um, supported about 800 businesses, trained 141 enterprises, and uh, produced about 700,000 jobs. And 12 of these enterprises are actually already linked, directly linked with the Shell value chain, meaning um, we use their, co their company's products in our value chain. Um, an example of this is Suds. If you're familiar with that, with the soap brand, so they are a, also a product of the Live Wire program. They support the circular economy because the uh, bottles that they use are recycled, and they also use dissoluble soap. Um, another example of that is Vortex Naman. So they are a, a company that focuses on small vertical wind turbines that can power up small households. Um, and sheds as well. So we're using them in our Shell Calapan terminal. So there are about three to four turbines that are being used to power um, our, one of the small sheds in our terminals. So again, the possibility of being incorporated into the Shell network is very, very high. Yes. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, go ahead. So we're talking about operational, back to operational uh, application. Yes. Executions. So um, in, uh, the Paris Agreement was signed in December 2015, and then in 2016, uh, Shell globally uh, started activities uh, to net zero. Yeah, whenever we compute for our um, carbon emissions, our baseline is always 2016. If we look at Shell Philippines, we have lowered our carbon emissions in our operations by about uh, 90%. Ooh. We were um, producing about 300,000 tons of carbon emissions before, but now we're about uh, 27,000 tons. Ang malaking reason here is we also changed our portfolio. So when we took out our refinery and transformed it into a world-class import facility, um, but that portfolio change shows that we wanted to transition the company as a whole. Um, but since uh, we're still at 27,000 tons, so we're still producing 27,000 tons of carbon emissions, that's why we're doing all of these other initiatives. So we, ha we have installed about 5,000 solar panels in our terminal facility. So the lower right and the bottom right is in Tabangao and in Villanueva. Um, we have 145 mobility sites with solar panel installation. So we call these mobility sites uh, as sites of the future because they have uh, special architectural features that promote sustainability. And um, the last point is that we have 100% renewable power for our Batangas terminal and Slex Mamplasan station, which is powered by uh, Shell Energy Philippines. But you know what? This is not an easy transition, I have no doubt. Mm. But as you can see, especially to our students here, 
the future is happening. It is possible. Difficult decisions are part of the process. Correct. But you can see that the companies are walking the talk. They are doing it. There are already steps in place to keep going. From 90%, hopefully you will achieve uh, even more, less uh, emissions. Yes, correct. So our goal in Shell is really to move in step with uh, society. So um, there are three main things that we would like, that we're excited about uh, for the future. So there, okay, that's the correct slide already. So the three main principles that will guide us and continue to guide us um, as we continue in our journey to net zero is, uh, so first is energy user. So how will we contribute um, as an energy user, meaning how will we decarbonize our own operations like what you mentioned earlier? Um, the second is how will we contribute as an energy provider? So this one man is uh, helping or supporting our partners and customers in their own decarbonization journey. And then the third one is a partner in energy transition. So how do we become a partner in the energy transition? How do we partner with uh, private enterprises, with government agencies, and hopefully influencing them, um, given that we have experience when it comes to energy transition and circularity with our experience in the region and also globally. So um, we can also share uh, best practices that were or are being done in other countries and how it can be adopted in the Philippines. Thank you. Yeah. With that said, last slide? Yes. Thank you. A round of applause for Sir Nate, ladies and gentlemen. Nate De Jesus of Shell. Thank you so, so much, Nate. Thank you. Thank you.